the moment that you realize that your mic has been on max the entire time, which makes it absolutely impossible to edit your videos so that it doesn't sound like I'm screaming at the microphone. Hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Line Plans. As you can tell by the title in today's video, we're going to be playing and swatching and painting some brand new fountain pen inks, as well as we're going to also spend a moment to ink up my full collection of pens. As a, you can tell, I just finished cleaning everybody and they're all kind of just taking a moment to dry up in the sun, not really the sun, just on my desk. But I do have some brand new inks to show you, so therefore we're going to get into swatches. I will show you a close-up. So let me just get you guys zoomed in nice and close. So you can not only see the colors, I will also show you a close-up of it in like natural sunlight. Right now it's nice and sunny out, so it should not be an issue. So if you wanted to see some brand new inks and you wanted to kind of see like what's actually going to be getting loaded up into my pens for the month of July, then just stay tuned and why don't we just get started because I'm so excited. All right, so first and foremost, if you're new and we've never met, my name is Mushy and I am the person behind Align Plans. We chat a couple of times a week here talking about minimalist planning, talk about functionality, talk about literally anything and everything under the world of planning and stationery. So if that's your jam, you should definitely subscribe if you have not yet already. Now for what are we using for supplies? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Um, I do have my trusty, I believe it's a Kikyoko pen. Um, the, I do have the stainless steel nib, which has been fantastic. I feel like you can barely see it. Here we go. So here's what she looks like um, for the swatches. These are like the little ink swatch paper that you can get. I just bought it from Paper Plus Cloth because they have like a stack of them. And for like the actual dollop, I love using just um, a watercolor brush, just mainly because it reminds me of me actually painting and maybe it will inspire me to get back into painting. Here's hoping. So we're going to get started with like, I have a, I literally just went a little bananas and I wanted to buy a whole bunch of swatches and a whole bunch of little samples. We have quite a few from Sailor, quite a few from Pilot. So I'm going to start with the easiest one because I have a full bottle of this. This is from Sailor. It's called Yoi. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. There's a really good chance I'm not. Please don't, please don't come after me in the, in the comments. Let us see. I'm, well, in all fairness, I have to say, I already swatched everybody and I'm quite happy with what I have seen. So there's that. Okay, first of all, this swatch just makes me want to paint with this so bad. Right? It, it looks like it's about to rain. You know what I mean? It looks like dark clouds are coming in. You better get, get in and cover. Thunderstorms. Anyways, I don't know. Maybe I'm just making it up, but it's definitely a very stunning color. Let's go on to the next one. Next up, we have also from Sailor. This is called Shikar. Shirakashi. So this is from Sailor Manyo, um, Shirakashi. Another very, very stunning color, right? Like, can we discuss this? This actually looks like a darker version of, of Hanging Rice from Troublemaker. This month I actually didn't pick up anything from Troublemaker. I'm kind of taking a break, but I'm happy to report that remember last month when we had that epic fail with, uh, with Foxglove? So ever since then, I've been actually looking for something that could potentially replace it. and. I think I found it, but it's something a little bit darker. This next one is from Pilot Irishizuku, and this one is called Aisai. 
And I think that this is actually the, one of the dupes that I found. I don't want to call it a dupe because to me a dupe would be something that looks exactly like it. This is more just, it will give you the same feel, but oh my goodness, it's so stunning. Like, look, it just looks like a really beautiful, vibrant flower. I'm going to just let this dry, but just take a look at the close-up. Next up, um, this is from Irushizuku Khan, and it's called Peki. Another very, very stunning blue. This looks like a happiness cloud. You know what I mean? Like when you, when you were a child and they're like, just draw a cloud. This would be the color that I would think of. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, that's what I had in mind. Okay, let's move on to the last large one. Actually, no, there's one more large one. This one is also from Pilot Erishizuku. This is called um, Tsutsui. Tsutsui. Yeah, Tsutsui. And that's how you make a mess. Fantastic. If this does not scream summer to you, I'm not sure whatever will. So beautiful. Next up, this one is actually from Ferris Wheel Press, which has been like a minute since I picked up something from Ferris Wheel Press. This one is called Jelly Bean Blue. I'm not sure why we're, oh my goodness. I'm so, I'm not good at this today. Okay, we're back now that I've made a mess a moment ago and ruin my sweater, it's okay. Okay, we're down to the last four, so let's take a look. So next up we have, we have one more from Pilot, Eru Shizuku. This one is called Murasaki Shikibu. Another very, very beautiful purple, right? Right. And we're down to the last three, and I believe these are all from the same brand. Yes, they are. So these are all, all three of these are from Kiyo no Oto. So the first one that I picked up from the brand is called Ochigu, Ochiguri Riro. Uchigo Riro. There you go. Once again, apologies for butchering it. It's like a very beautiful, rich chocolate brown. Same brand. Actually, what I'm going to do now that the other colors have dried, we're just gonna use the back of it. So the next color that we have is called Yurushiro. Yurushiro. It still doesn't sound right. Again, apologies. It's such a soft, beautiful color. 
I feel like this would be so pretty to actually paint with. And last but not least, we have Say Hecky. So this one's a beautiful green. It's like this very light, soft pastel green. See what I mean? Like I think that this would be so pretty to just paint with. Cool, so these are all the colors that I recently picked up and I'm going to give them a little bit of time to actually dry. So I'm just set them out and then we can kind of talk about it of who's going in and where because that also makes a difference. I can already tell you that I'm a huge fan of the Sailor colors. So this one we're definitely going to be using. I also really love this brown color, but I don't want too many overlaps, so I'm not sure if this is going to make it, but definitely, definitely um, Aji Sai will, will be coming. I really love the Tsutsui. To me, this just, this just absolutely screams summer. Here, let me just zoom out so you guys can see all of it. A little bit brighter on the colors. Um, here we go. So now you can kind of see everybody with like a little bit more bumped up in the colors. And of course, coffee of the day. This is literally just a bare bone basic Starbucks um, espresso with a little shot of vanilla creamer. And a little sprinkle of cinnamon, of course, of course. I mean, if you're not putting cinnamon in your coffee, what are we doing with life? You know what I mean? Okay, let's talk about the colors. So I thought that as much as I love this, I feel like this would be really great with sketching. So if this will end up in one of my pens, it will have to go into something where I, I would literally just use it as an accent color to draw, not necessarily to write. I'm not sure how this would kind of work out with writing, but But anyway, so that's kind of how I feel about both of these. They look really, really stunning as sketching colors, not necessarily to write with, but I think part of me wants to at least try one of them, maybe the red one, just to kind of see how it would actually function in one of my, maybe like, maybe I'm like one of my Kawako sports and see what happens. Definitely a yes, definitely a yes, definitely a yes. Like for some reason, these top three colors are like my color palette right now. I'm also really loving this as well as, I'm trying to figure out where I swatched the two sailor colors. This one has, this one, the Yoi, and then, no, this one has Yoi. Again, I have to wait. I have to wait until everybody dries. First, we'll press this jelly bean blue, and it, it does have like nice transitions. Again, let's get you zoomed in so you can see under the light but you can definitely see like the lines here. It looks really stunning. This, I can get enough of to me. This actually screams summer. So all three of these are an absolute yes. Let me take a look at the other ones. Sailors is a yes for sure. I mean, to be honest, I can use any of them and, and all of them and it would be totally fine. You know what I mean? Like right now, I just kind of feel like I need a little bit of a reset to kind of jump into a totally different color palette than what I had up to this point, which really has a lot more purples and bright, bright pink and fuchsias. So, which to me kind of resembles and like really like hones in on summer. I also wanted to try this out the from Kyo no Oto. I think that this would look really pretty. Mm, I'm, I'm debating between these two because I don't have any green. So maybe we'll go with the green here. And then beyond that, should we go with... The one thing that I don't have that I haven't used, I'm, 
I don't want to play repeats or favorites, but part of me kind of wants to bring back like a mustard color, maybe nostalgic honey. Just to kind of keep life a little bit interesting because I, I usually like a variety of different colors, but I like to have a couple of like blues, a couple of browns so that they're like nice and predictable and maybe have a green and maybe like one funky color. You know what I mean? But it's nice to have at least one yellow because it kind of breaks up the mundaneness of, and that's my justification, whatever. I love the color, so it doesn't matter. If you haven't seen a swatch of Nostalgic Honey, I will just put up a picture, but I believe I actually have the swatch cards here. And in case you're wondering how Pilot Air Shizuku Tsutsui, how does that differ or how is it the same or similar to Lunetta Twilight Pink? So here's a side-by-side -side swatch. It's like they're totally different. I also sometimes have moments where I really want to put in blushing mushroom, but then I don't. You would think I would find the color, right? Oh, here, by the way, here's foxglove. So in case anyone is wondering, tell me that it's not a dupe, right? Right. Except here, this is literally a shade darker. But besides that is the exact, almost like the exact rep replica. And not only that, but price-wise, they are really, really similar actually. Um, I do believe that Foxglove is a little bit, um, it's a little bit more affordable, but not by much. And the other part of it is too that keep in mind that because Pilot has a slightly darker shade, it honestly, it just makes it, in my opinion, a little bit more palatable. So this is Nostalgic Honey. No, and it's not Troublemaker, it's guitar. Very beautiful. I mean, honestly, I can literally go for this color at any time. It's just so beautiful and rich until everything dries. And in the meanwhile, I can actually show you guys a close up. These guys are still drying. This is almost completely dry. The pastel colors. We're almost completely dry. This is now dry, so here we go. Uh, let me see how we're doing here. Almost dry, still a little bit of a sheen left. So we're gonna give those a moment to, to dry up. And then let me just show you guys a close up. So here is Aisai. So this is the one that I told you that's, it's like the blue version of Foxglove. And then here's, here's the other one. This is Murasaki. She, Shiki, what? What is your name? Murasaki Shikibu. There we go, I can't read my own writing. So these two are my absolute favorites at this point. I mean, to be honest, when I'm looking at the entire lineup, they all look absolutely stunning. Can't wait for this, honestly. And if you're wondering, because I know some of you will ask me, if you wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison for Irishizuku Kon Peki, I do have, remember when we were doing these swatches in my previous video? If you haven't seen it, I will leave it in the description so you can check it out. But here is a side-by-side -side comparison. This is from Ama Iro. Similar, but not quite. But they're, they're, they could almost be a dupe to, for each other. Um, Tsukiyo, not even close. We're not even in the same realm. Albaloni, absolutely not. Yeah, like the closest I got is actually Amairo. So if you're wondering, like, do they compare? They absolutely do. In my opinion, they do. This one is a little bit deeper. And this one, it definitely has a bit of a sheen to it. So just kind of keep that in mind. Also, since we're on the blues, um, when we're looking at Ferris wheel press, if there is a dupe for it, no, this one is more of a richer, so it looks like it has a bit more, a bit more yellow and a bit more um, red hues. These are a little bit more cooler when it comes to blues, but it's, it's in the same like blue family. So it's in the same blue family as Tsukiyo and Melancholic Blue. 
So just kind of keep that in mind. But I definitely love this shade of blue. I think I think we're gonna go with that. I don't think I want to do like four different pens to just load them up with blue. So we're gonna introduce a bit of a variety here. I'm trying to find a swatch card for, here we go. So here is the Sailor Manu Shirakashi. Again, very similar family, but not quite. Oh, this, I mean, this is like a happy medium between like a gray and honestly, if you're thinking about it, this totally reminds me of of Albaloni, but more in the gray family. But it's sort of like, I get the same vibe from it, if you will. I'm just trying to make sure that, yeah, that's my old swatch. I'm just trying to make sure that we have all of the swatches ready to go so I can show you guys all of them. So this is sort of what our lineup looks like. And I will show you the, the pen, and then I will show you also which which color went into which pen. Now, before we kind of close off, I would actually love to know, this is basically all I wanted to show you. I really wanted to show you guys a swatch of each of the colors, what's actually going to be going into my, into my pens. I mean, I can also show you the swatch in, um, in my book, in my Hobonichi. We do have it close up here. So here is Sailor, here is Kyo no Oto. These swatches, by the way, were not done with a brush. They were actually just done straight up with my with my little um, pen. But when you're looking at like a variety, I think that there, this introduces a nice, beautiful variety. I love the sailor color from like both colors. They, they look absolutely stunning, especially when you're written like this. I also love the Kiyo no Oto colors. I will never get sick of these two, obviously. I mean, this is one of the most stunning colors I have ever seen, especially for the summertime. It's absolutely stunning and it's so suitable. So anyway, I'm going to just show you the swatches close up so you can take a look, but then also um, which pen <laughs> received which color because I feel like I'm going to need that for reference a little bit later on as we're editing so I don't forget. This is all I wanted to share with you. I would love to know what is your favorite color that you're going to be rocking for the month of July. Please let me know in the comment section below. And also please give me a recommendation of any of the brands and colors that you would recommend for me in both blues, in blacks, in funky colors, you name it. I would love to kind of check that out and at least get a sample just because then that way it kind of creates a bit more exposure for me to try out new inks, which I'm always up for. This is all I got for you. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe. You can do all the things to support the channel. And in the meanwhile, I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.